Good morning, good afternoon. This is Mr. Brown. So what we did before when we made our agenda is we used Google Sheets and we saved that into our Google Drive. What we're going to be doing now is using Google Drawings. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to be making our profile picture for, you can use it for your Schoology, you can use it for your Google account. Either one is up to you, but we're going to get a little bit of practice with a little bit more of the Google Suite. And today we'll be doing with drawings. Um, so we're going to make your profile picture, which you know in Chrome you see it right here, really small. In Schoology, you know you've got it right here. Again, it's pretty small. If you click on your account, go to your profile. You know it's a little bit bigger right here. Um, but what we're going to do is you're going to personalize it to make it something that's interesting to you that represents you. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do it with Google Drawing. So open up a new tab and go to, you need to type this in, docs.google.com slash drawings. So docs.google.com slash drawings. I'm not going to give you the link. I need you to type that into your browser. So come up here, docs.google.com slash drawings. When you open that, that'll open a blank page right here. And this automatically saves into your Google Drive, so you don't have to worry about that. Your profile picture must be the following. must be a square that is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It must be school appropriate. It must be turned in as a PNG file. All right. So those are our, your three specifications. It's going to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It's going to be school appropriate, and it can be and it needs to be turned in as a PNG file. So the way we do that, click on drawing. The so first thing it's always a good idea to rename this up here because when you go to your Google Drive, you'll have a whole bunch of things that say untitled, and that's not very helpful. So we're going to type this in, say, profile picture. Now if I look at this, this is not a square. I want it to be a square because a lot of the programs use a square right here or even a circle right there. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to scroll down to Page Setup. And this says it's a standard 4 by 3 ratio. We don't want that. What that means is that it's four this way by three that way, but we don't know what it is, so we want to click that. We're going to go down to Custom. And remember I said we want it 100 by 100 pixels. So if I type 100 by 100, it's going to be 100 by 100 inches. We don't want inches. We want it smaller. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go down to Pixels. 100 by 100. Hit apply. So now we've got our square that we're going to work with and we're going to add whatever we want. You'll notice that it has this little checkerboard pattern on it which is good. What that means is that this is a transparent image. It means that you can see through it. So you'll see on some pictures like if I click and drag this icon you can see through that. You can see it on the blue background, you can see on the white, you can see through it. That means that that picture is transparent. You can see through it. Nope. When we go to save it, that'll be important. You don't have to have a transparent background on your profile picture, um, but it is, I think it looks neat. Um, but you're going to be designing this to be something meaningful for you to be kind of more of an independent thing. So this one right here, you can see again, has that transparent background, which is kind of nice because depending on the different colors, you can see through it. 
So come back here. So this is Google Drawing. There's a lot of tools you can use right here. If you want to add text, you can click this. Um, I can put my initials if I wanted to. You've, for all your stuff, you've got these boxes around the corner, this blue box with these little handles. I can resize things. Uh, the one up top here that sticks up, if I click and drag that, that will rotate it. So that's what that tool does. If I don't like something, I can press delete on the keyboard. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, you got different lines, line tools. You can add different arrows, shapes. If I want to make a big happy face. Or I can click delete. If I want to delete things, just click and drag and hit delete. All right. Text. Insert image. This is the one we're probably going to want to be using. So you want to make something that is representative of you, but also remember how tiny this actually becomes in the corner. So if I made something that was small, by the time it gets to your profile picture, you're not even going to be see that. So we want to kind of fill up this whole area right here. So let's find an image. I'm going to hit, you can hit insert image. You can upload it from your computer. You can search the web. You can, if you have a picture already, you can do that. I hit this search images. Let's say I like hockey. I'm going to type in hockey. And I can scroll down. Hey, this one looks good. All right, so if I wanted to click on that, I can click it, hit insert, and that's gonna bring that picture in there. Now you'll notice that the background right here is white. I don't have that checkerboard pattern, which means I can't see through it. So I wanna find a better picture than that. So I'm just gonna open up another tab. I'm gonna open up Google Images. And let's say I want Washington Capital. So if I pick any of these, you'll see that they don't have that checkerboard pattern behind it, so these are not transparent. I can use these if I want to, but there's some other cool little tools in your Google search. So if I come over here to Tools, and I go to Size, I can pick a big picture, small picture. If I go to Color, if I want just a black and white picture, I can click black and white, look at me all that, any color. The nice one that we're going to use here, though, is transparent. So when I hit transparent, it's going to give me something that has that transparent background. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to click on it. You see it's got that checkerboard pattern that looks good. I'm going to right click and copy. And I'm going to come back to my drawing over here. I'm going to paste. So now you can see, I can see right through that. So when I save it, it's going to save just the eagle right there, not everything. So when you have it on your page here, if you have it on Schoology or on Google, what it's probably going to do is it's going to turn it into a circle, and which means it's going to cut off the corner. So I want to make sure that whatever I have is in the middle of my page. You can try to get it close, and it will actually bring up those little red lines. So right there, that red line that went up and down, that lets me know it's centered horizontally. If I scroll up a little bit, I can try to get it centered. All right, so those red lines that popped up lets me know that that's right in the middle. Another easier way to do that is if I go to arrange to center on page center it horizontally arrange center on page vertically so now this is kind of small I want to make it fill up the entire 100 by 100 pixel square so I'm gonna click on my corner right here and I can make it bigger or smaller so different programs will do things 
a little bit differently. If I hold down control on my keyboard, you can see it makes it bigger on both sides. Uh, some programs do that with shift, some programs do that with alt, or if you're on a Mac, the little uh, Mac button, but on Google Drawings, if I hold control, it'll make it bigger in both directions. I want to recenter that. Arrange, center on page horizontally. Arrange, center on page vertically. Cool. And let's say I want to add my initials. I can highlight that text. I can change the color if I want to. Let's make it red. All right. So let's say I want that as my image. When I told you the specifications, I said we need to turn it in as a PNG file. So as a PNG file, if I go to File and I go to Download, it's going to give you a couple options. You have a PDF file, which is not what we want right now. You have a regular JPEG file, which most of the pictures you see all over the computers are JPEG files. You have a PNG file, which is another type of image. And then you have this scalable vector graphics SVG. The one we want is PNG. We want PNG because we want this transparent background. If you save it as a JPEG, you won't get that transparent background. It'll just turn white. Vectors we will talk about later on in this course. Uh, we use vectors a lot when we play with the laser and the CNC machine and things like that. So we want to download it as a PNG image, and that will download to your computer right here. All right. So to use this, I'm just going to click and drag this to my desktop so I know where it is. All right. So to use this as your profile picture, you can see right there how it actually made it see-through. We like that. Uh, if you want to change your Google account, so this part's just optional. You don't have to change this. It's just kind of nice to personalize your stuff. So your Google account, if I just click on this, click the little camera here, and you can upload a photo from your computer. And you can find that picture. On Schoology, same thing. Click here, hit your profile. Oh, I'm right there. Edit picture. And attach file. So let's say I wanted to change it, I would find that on there. Uh, let's see, so one thing you'll notice is that some programs will cut it off so that you see that it turned it into a circle. I just happen to make mine a circle to match that. I just think it looks good, but you don't have to. If you want to see what it's going to look like as a circle, if I click my picture here, you see this little crop image. Crop image is to cut out stuff. Say I want to make it smaller like that. And when I crop, it'll look like that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. But if I click next at, you have this mask image button. If I wanted to see what that's going to look like as a circle, if I hit the mask, go to shapes, and if I pick a circle, that's going to show me what it's going to look like. So I can resize that to make a circle. So that's what it would end up looking like right there. So if I had a different picture, like that's a circle. Here, I'll just take a picture right here. Copy image. All right, so here we go. The, If I mask that as a circle, oh, that's a bad example. That's a bad example because it was already round. Here, let's take this one. All right. Now, if I mask it with a circle, you can see what that's going to look like. How it's going to cut off the, the corners there. All right, so 
use this to make something interesting for you, kind of personalize it, let us know a little bit more about you. Just remember, you're going to be 100 by 100 pixels, has to be school appropriate, and you're going to turn it in as a PNG file. We're going to talk about turning stuff in in class, so we will cover that later, but for right now it'll be saved onto your Google Drive.